wrecked, destroyed, demolished. As fanatic pike anglers, we all have baits in our collection that are so beaten up. They went through so many things, you could write a book about it. In this series of short videos, we pay tribute to the stars of our tackle boxes. Enjoy! One of my favorites is the Lucky Lures Perch. As you can see, this one has been smashed to bits. It used to be black with a, a little bit of red, pink. I don't know what we should call this color, but all of the white spots is pikes smashing into it. I especially like trolling this lure. A lot of people like to cast it, but I'm more of a trolling fan with this one. You can fish it shallow, like uh, 70 centimeters deep, or on deeper waters with a little tungsten weight in front of it. And this one has quite a funny story to it. I was on a, a fair a few years back talking to uh, JP from uh, Lucky Lures and someone, uh, someone came back with this lure he had this custom made this freaky color but he couldn't catch any fish with it I looked at it and I said give it to me I love this color I like the contrast of the black and the, the pink red and as you can see I was quite successful with it this one is now nicknamed Jantje because the previous owner, is, uh, his name is Jan. Now before we continue with our story about the Lucky Purse, I want to announce that we are doing a giveaway from the infamous Lucky Purse that Frans has been using, the black and red Lucky Purse, also known as Jantje. We made a copy, well Lucky Lures made a copy, a black and red one which is called Jantje 2. Like I said, it's in collaboration with Lucky Lures. All you have to do is comment below the video. Obviously subscribe to the channel and follow Lucky Lures on Instagram. Good luck guys! So size wise this isn't a really really big bait. Uh, 20 centimeters I guess. But I've got some serious pike on, uh, on these Lucky Perches. One of them I can uh, remember best is uh, a 117 pike, really fat one. October together with Sean. A magical day where only the, the, the big huge mama pikes were on fire. And a few hours later, Sean even got a 124 or 125 on another color of uh, Lucky Perch. And this specific one uh, made my day the first day of the season, I guess, 2018. We were just literally fishing for five minutes and then a 116 grabbed this bait. That was the start of the day and it went on the entire day. So really good memories, good bait. Frans shared some stories about his Lucky Perch, about Jantje the bait that he adopted and then completely demolished and destroyed. One of my favorites is also the Lucky Perch. I've been casting a lot with these and trolling as well. It's been a huge success using them in both techniques. I've lost count on how many fish and how many big fish I've caught on, uh, on, on the Lucky Perch. The tail is, uh, is broken off on this one. Uh, you can easily replace it by just sending JP an, an email from Lucky Lures and he will send you a new replacement tail. It's quite easy actually, you have like a metal pin in the back. You can lifted the old tail out if it's broken or when it's completely gone you put a new one in and just put the pin back in and you're done it doesn't happen that often i like to fish them with two old trebles underneath it this bait is uh, quite wrecked and funny story is that this bait is my second one actually the first one i had was uh, completely destroyed as well it was even more beaten up than this one uh, but I lost it in Sweden. Yeah, during a minor deviation while trolling with Franz, so uh, I parked like five different baits on the bottom. We managed to get four out, and then the fifth, my line just, it just ripped into my reel, uh, into, into the spool itself, and then the line snapped. And I actually went back scuba diving to try and find the bait, because I was super attached to it. I caught, at the time, my personal best with it. It won me the 30 pike when casting with this lucky perch. Um, and then later on, two months later, I went back with a big magnet, throwing on the exact spot that I lost it. And the only parts that I dragged up were like small metal pieces, but I couldn't get my bait back. So I know where it is. I know where in Sweden on which particular rock it stuck, but I can't find it. So it will be forever on the bottom over there. So I got a second one. This is the second one in that color. I got a multitude of these, but I like the perch color. It's quite natural. It has a perch profile. It has a really natural color and on clear water. This has been a, a big fish producer for me year round. I used to cast these with an 80 gram uh, long, uh, 2 meter 70 rod. No issue at all. You could go a bit heavier to set the hook a bit better. Easy to cast with, so it's easy to work with the entire day. Speed wise, you do want to maintain the speed when trolling above 
three and a half kilometers. Otherwise it would go straight through the water. You want to keep up that high speed so the tail starts thrashing around and you get a bit of movement in the head as well. And then when it starts to thrash around like this, you got a killer bait. That's it for today's video guys. We hope you liked our stories about the lucky perch. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.